there is a nose there. I just got up because I need to go for a wee. And I took the blankie off. And she stayed there. <laughs> Hi. Hi. There you go. Cutie. And then, of course, how is this one not a cutie? They're looking at me, Mum. They're really looking at me. I need to hide my fez. <laughs> Look at those cute little pawsies. We've just got in from playing with, outside with the girls and we had to use the ball today instead of the frisbee because it's so windy but it was okay because both of them played with the ball and they both loved it but <coughs> it started raining when we were like spitting when we went out there and suddenly the, the drops are just getting too heavy and we're like time to go in now but when we were when I was sat at my chair that just got in we were trying to figure out if Pickle brought our ball back and I asked her, and she was in her bed. She came out of her bed, stood by my wheelchair, looked at me to show me the ball, and then went back to bed. <laughs> I was like, how bloody cute is that? <laughs> um, so she's been doing some exercise. Your body's got to get used to it. Um, I've slept. We've rung the doctors, still nothing back on my sputum yet, so no answers for trying to get my lungs sorted. Um, what else has happened today? That's it, really. Oh, Mother Nature's arrived! I don't think so, and I have ever been so pleased for Mother Nature to be visiting us right now. Whoop, whoop! It means it's go, go, go. That normally sends the girls wild, as you saw in last night's vlog. Or two nights ago's vlog. I don't remember now. I think it was last night's. But yeah, that's kind of our day so far. I'm going to do some engraving. And I think that's it so far. don't think there's much else. I've had a little bit of a tidy up over here. But that is us. For now, we're watching Friday Night Dinner, Friday night dinner and it's got S is it Simon Bird from In Between Us In. Yeah. And my goodness, it is so funny. You should definitely go and watch it. It's on Netflix. Um, there's three seasons, which we've watched in 24 hours. Yeah, we're nearly finished with the season as well, I think. Wow, that is some heavy rain coming down. Yeah, it's just all of a sudden. So, yeah. Go, go check that out. Did you hear pee bark? Oh, she's over there. Yeah, she went. Hmm. <laughs> Strange girls. So she's just getting Gizzy Modo sorted. And that's it for now. We'll check in with you in a little bit. So guys, here is all the mail that I was talking to you about. All in handmade envelopes. <coughs> wax seals and washi tape and this one's got like butterfly paper with a rabbit and like oh, uh, a tree of life I've had to put tape over the wax seals because last night they started peeling off which has never happened before so I don't know what's going on there and then there's this one which is like let me see if I can cover the address. Mm -mm. It's bunting paper with butterflies. Yay! Look at this! This is a new keyring for walking on rainbows and 
We reached 150 members! Yay! Whoop! Whoop! So we're still watching Friday Night Dinner. And at the beginning of Season 3, Episode 3, <laughs> the dad comes in and asks his son to remember a number. This number is five digits long. In that time, we have watched the whole programme. This programme's like, what, 25 minutes long. I've had conversation texts with my mum, said conversation text to Soph. We've done some recording for the vlog. Um, I did a post on Facebook. What else was it? I can't remember. Instagram, maybe? We, ha we were eating tea. And oh, yeah, so I've taken out tea plates and bowls and whatnot. I've drilled and put together a key ring. I think there was one other thing as well, but I can't really remember, which is ironic. Um, and I, at, the end, at the end of the episode, I turned and said to Soph, can you go back to the beginning of this episode? I want to see if I've remembered the number that they asked the son to remember. And she was just like, what? I forgot. She forgot that. even asked to, to remem remind a number. And I said to Sophie, right, I'll write it down so that you know this is the number that I was thinking of. And uh, I remembered it. And this is not an easy number. It's it, not. It was 26,243. But somehow I managed to remember that. Yeah, I don't know how. Yeah, I... I, I she's speechless so if you do watch this program when you get to this episode keep this number in your mind from the beginning of the episode continue doing your whatever you do whilst you're watching it and then see if you've remembered the number at the end and if you do just let us know in the comments because I'm quite interested and if you don't comment below then I will assume that you're with me and forgot about the the fact, fact, even us. Yes. Yeah. I think I might have more people on my side. Yes. Prove me wrong, guys. Prove me Oopsie. wrong. Oopsie! I don't know what's with my brain sometimes. Hmm. Boop! <coughs> Boop! <coughs> Boop! <coughs> Boop! <coughs> Boop! <coughs> Boop! <coughs> 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 upstairs and we were watching RuPaul and god I could have just sat there and cried there's um there's a queen on there whose name's Evie Oddly and she's got EDS as well and she said that she gets scared because she sees people well she met somebody with EDS a little while back and they used to be walking around and doing things and now she's in a wheelchair struggling with her heart and I just had to stop doing what I was doing which was my birthday scrapbook and try and fight back tears because that was me a few years ago I was running around training to be a paramedic And now I'm just on oxygen and in my wheelchair and I can't do what I used to be able to do. Yeah, things are better now, but knowing I was able-bodied and knowing that I've had the opportunity to experience life like that. It makes it harder now. The last few years not being the person I was born, basically. Like, being able to walk and run around. I was born with EDS. But I wasn't born needing my wheelchair. Or oxygen. Or all these meds. 
and I'm finding that really difficult at the moment. I mean, hormones probably aren't helping either, but when you hear it from another person with EDS, that they feel the same as what I feel, it just makes me want there to be a cure so much more. And it just sucks that there currently is none. EDS sucks. It destroyed a huge part of my life. And I would do anything to change that. Anything. Just to be half the person that I was. Just know that that, that, that person's never coming back. And I'm learning to love the person I am now, but each day's different and each day's a struggle. Somebody noticed that I'm finding it difficult. She came up to come in nuzzling and gave me a hug. So she's still my meds at the minute and then she's going to be up. So I'll speak to you in a bit. No hands. But so not in it. Yeah. I can't do that. It bold it pushes my hernia out. Don't do it then. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know either. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad we established that. About half an hour ago. I remembered. But somebody's buying the fish tank tomorrow. Oh, yeah. At 10 in the morning. So we've got to get up super early so we can move it into a good way. Because the fish tank is currently in the corner where everything gets dumped from oxygen tanks to craft stuff to pen pal stuff, my shoes, my AFOs. No, they're back there in the kitchen now, aren't they? Yeah, currently, yeah. Um... And God knows what else. And that fish tank is bloody heavy. If the house wasn't as much of a tip as what it actually is, then we could just say, come in and get it yourself. Mm. Ordinarily, we would have cleaned up that little spot and the living room and just shut off all the other rooms. But we forgot. So, uh, yeah, failed there. The annoying thing is as well, is it's probably because it was just before my nap, but just before my nap... They messaged asking whether um, everything was still going ahead. But obviously, then I went straight into a nap, got rudely awakened by Soph, and I completely forgot. So I blame Soph. It's her fault. And I didn't say that because I'm not with my lips. <laughs> your neck moving though. That I'm not okay with that. Okay. Alba's injection went really well. It did. She it was fantastic. Pain or anything. That was this one and the one two weeks ago. They both been really uh, good. Uh, yeah. Just as we turned around and said that if it's painful again, we need to go and like have the vets do it for a little while. And then next time, perfect. Yeah, it's quite funny, really. Yeah, and then she got wild afterwards. Yeah, I did. And then I had several nice little treats. Yep. And we put them here and went, and Alba took it, and Alba took one from Sylph. And then we did it, and we were just like, should we try Dixie? Because she doesn't normally do it. Never. She's just like, I'm not going near your face. No. And she did it. She really bloody she did it. Like, yeah. I was, I was okay with you. And then she was on the floor and we said, should we try it with mummy as well? She literally jumped up and, on you basically, didn't she? and did it with me. And we were just like, what's going on? We were okay with it. It was a little bit weird. Thank you. <clears throat> Still no news on the sputum yet. Yeah, hopefully tomorrow. I'm also hoping that it's going to, the results come back to the GP because obviously it had my consultant. That one didn't. 
Yeah, it did. Oh, it did. Ooh. But would it still be on my record? It oh, should do. But I don't did know it if it's linked. Last time that, yeah, they're not linked. But either way, somebody should call you, surely. Someone should they didn't you. before. Mm. For and some the, reason, when they, whenever they go to the hospital, unless I'm in hospital, they don't tell me. The, well, no, they don't. The receptionist could see that you'd done one. Oh. That's what, well, that's the impression I got anyway. We'll just keep trying and ringing up yeah, every yeah. day. But then it's, it wouldn't be the first time if nothing comes back, but... Um, well, I'd still that, have though, a bug, because it's happened before. We've had it before as well, where the reception said that um, everything's fine, mm. and then the doctors have rung you and said, actually... You've got these three bugs, I yeah. think it was, and we were like, the receptionist told us we had nothing in there. <sighs> but yeah, sometimes... I, I can give a sputum, but it results won't come back because I've not been able to get it from low enough mm. because I struggle from getting it from right down in my lungs. So it just depends on where it's come from. Ugh. Indeed. The things you talk about with a lung disease and the things she's seen since having someone with a lung disease. I've certainly seen a lot of things. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> but that's been our day. Yeah. Nothing much tomorrow other than the fish tank. I'm sure we could find something for y'all. Probably. I drew five pages for my birthday scrapbook. So. It's but it's only in pencil at the moment. Hence why we've not shown you. But they do look pretty cool. Yay. And I had my mental health budget today, so stamps have been ordered to send all that mail we've got. Yay! And then I'll probably have no stamps again by the end of the week. Mm. Yeah. Never mind. But thanks for coming on our day with us. It's been tiring. It has been very tiring, but it's okay because it's bedtime now. <laughs> Tut, tut, tut. Other than yawn. And now you're all gonna yawn because she yawned and I said yawn and now I'm saying yawn and yawn and yawn. You're welcome. And on that note, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night everyone! <laughs> Good night! Monday, April 15th. Preparing for the miracle. When Joshua told the people Purify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do great wonders among you. If you knew that God was going to perform a miracle for you tomorrow, what would you do differently today? If you were convinced he was about to move on your behalf, would it change your actions, your heart, or your mind? If so, in what ways? The Israelites were called to purify themselves in preparation for God's great wonders. They were to focus on their hearts even before the miracle occurred. This getting ready to receive process was a critical part of the equation and provided ample opportunities to trust in the unseen. When you think of preparing your heart to receive a miracle, what comes to mind? How would you begin to the purification process? Today, as you pray for God's miracle, miraculous power to be revealed, Ask him to show you how to, pre to prepare. Then set yourself apart, purified, ready to receive his abundant blessings. I often beg for miracles, Lord, without committing myself to the process. I want to see you come through for me, but I don't always want to put in the hard work of purifying myself in order to pave the way. Today I choose to trust you, even in the fire. I give myself over to the purification process, Lord, so that I become a clean vessel, ready to be used in miraculous ways. Amen.